Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, divergence and stochastic RSI show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for IOTA, the price went down only slight by about 0.4% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 20.0 cents. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, the price broke the 50 SMA to the downside it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. For this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 50 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 20.1 cents. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA, which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is, is situated below the hourly ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 20.2 cents. The resistance should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. On the lookout for divergences in the hourly time frame, there was a bullish divergence and the price already went up. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so it should be waited to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, the price has crossed the 20 SMA downwards it's a strong signal that there has been a higher than average volume. For this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 20.2 cents. Jumping to the 3 hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the 3 hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 20.5 cents. The ribbon is spread out so the resistance should be strong. Jumping to the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but we can see that the trend is currently going down because the K line is below the D line. Looking at the daily simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 21.0 cents. Jumping to the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is, is situated below the daily ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 22.6 cents. The resistance should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Jumping to the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the lower region, which means that the price is getting oversold and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so it should be waited to see if the trend will actually change to the upside. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. Next time.